some very important questions will be raised on this broadcast. This is how fit are you and how seriously do you take this fitness ad when it comes to well, shedding those extra kilos? Let's start about, uh, we're talking about Sarma Daladin, seldom called by his real name. The Indian student studying in Surrey was called Mr. Muscles. The 18-year-old's obsession with fitness though took a tragic turn when the bodybuilding pills he took to lose weight claimed his life. The 18-year-old Hyderabadi studying in the UK had consumed fat-burning pills. Ironically, just before his death, well, Samrat Aladdin had posted pictures on a social networking website showing off his muscular build. He had also, in fact, praised DNP, the lethal bodybuilding pills. Samrat took these pills to get the perfect body, to lose that excess waste. But just in a few hours after consuming these pills, Aladdin collapsed, was rushed to the hospital. Now, the university had also issued a statement just last week warning students about some dangerous bodybuilding as well as weight loss drugs which were in fact being consumed. Now, the University for Creative Arts even circulated an advisory for its students asking them to stay away from the potentially lethal, well, dinitrophenol or diametrodine tablets. A fitness freak though, Sarmad stayed in university accommodation in Epsom in Surrey. He was studying specialist art and design at the university before these lethal drugs claimed his life. Now, so what is this lethal pill that caused the death of this young student, this young fanatic who just wanted a good body to look good and be healthy? DNP, the pill was initially, remember, used in diet pills while aiding weight loss, 1933 to 38 in the US. They were discontinued though after a period as the reports which came through suggested that too much of it could be lethal for humans. It was deemed too risky for human use. Now despite its harmful side effects, they continue to be used by athletes even now, bodybuilders, especially for competitions and the agenda is to lose fat quickly, particularly before what we know as bodybuilding competitions. Now, DNP is mostly sold over the internet under a number of different names. It's marketed mainly to bodybuilders as weight loss aid as it is thought to dramatically boost metabolism. Now, the Food Standards Agency has also told consumers to take pills containing any level of DNP. It will be hazardous, it is risky they say and this also being proved after a second death was linked to the substance. The manufactured drug is yellow in color, it's odorless, was previously used as a herbicide and a fungicide in fact. Now it was launched as a slimming aid in the US in the 1930s but then banned in 1938 due to the severe side effects. In fact, another case which came forth, a 26-year-old woman, Selena Warlon, dying from a heart attack in 2008 after taking a large amount of DNP that she had bought online. Now, according to a study published last year in the Journal of Medical Toxicity, 62 deaths have been attributed to DNP alone. I want to get some more perspective about well, what are the impacts of drugs such as these about fat burning, weight loss drugs and how of course there is an obsession as well with consuming these. Dr. K.K. Agarwal, Padma Shri Awardee and President of the Heart Care Foundation of India joins us in the studio. Doctor, first up, you know how prevalent is the use of such drugs and, and medicines amongst the youth? It seems they are quite popular. Body image has become very important. Medically, if we see all the drugs which have been introduced in the last maybe over two decades, all of them have been banned. So medically today we don't have a safe drug for obesity. Remember obesity is a disease. When obesity is a disease, it has to be treated like a disease. It has to be treated by doctors. What happens is when non-doctors take over management of obesity and then you have a problem. That's the major problem which comes. Now, when we talk about DNP, we talk about dimetrodine, we talk about allopathic drugs, we talk about... Now, DNP is a, is a fat burner. It cooks from inside. That's the, that's the phrase used. It cooks the body from inside. And if the dose is more, it can be lethal. So, when somebody teaches us the causes of sudden cardiac death, the first question we ask is, has he taken any anti-obesity pills? Obesity pills are dangerous, should not be used. There are ways of managing weight. You can go with the diet, with the exercise, but no drug is safe as far as obesity pills are concerned. Whether they are, don't don't think that uh, uh, the herbal drugs mm. are are safe. Ephedrine is banned all over the world. Twenty-eight deaths have been described with ephedrine. 
Now the question is that in India, ephedrine is freely used by hmm. Ayurvedic doctors. In China, it originated from Chinese herb. Now there is a need that the government should sit with the allopathic and Ayurvedic doctors together. Otherwise, patient can confuse. I tell my patient, don't use ephedrine. And an Ayurvedic doctor says, use ephedrine. It is safe. So here comes the conflict. All over the world, it is banned. So my general statement is hmm. very clear. Anti-obesity drugs don't use without medical supervision. No, Dr. Agarwal, the fact is that you know there are plenty of social sort of implications of, of such drug uses as well. There is an importance, an added importance these days to body image, to looking good, to having ripped muscles, as you know is evident in this case as well. But the problem, like you mentioned, you know goes beyond you know what should be accessed and what should be bought and what should be had or not because you know what, something is prescribed by allopathic doctors, another by you know herbologists, like you mentioned. But it is perhaps up to the government to step in and, and, and draw a fine line. This is banned, this cannot be accessed and should not be made available over the counter at least. See, uh, what I am trying to say is none of the allopathic drugs, none of these drugs are available today as far as Drug Controller of India is concerned. Mm. None of the drug has been approved by Drug Controller of India. Therefore, they always come as a smuggled drugs. Mm. If you talk about the BNP, it is available with the Turkey company. The company is Biomax who makes it. Now, therefore, people today people get it from China, people get it from Pakistan, people get it from Nepal, where these drugs are available. But drug controller of India today, there is no drug approved for use in obesity. In Ayurved, yes, ephedra is being used, for which I have already raised the issue that we must have a talk with the uh, government agencies to find out whether ephedra can be used by Ayurvedic doctor or not. Is it safe or safer alternatives are available? But how big a problem is this according to you? Because you must see, see 37, numerous cases. 37 people today, 37 percent of the society today is obese who want to reduce their weight. It's a huge problem. Specific problem comes when they want to do a short term weight loss. Yes. Say for example, they want to enter into sports, they want to reduce their weight, somebody is not getting married and they, they, their bothersome is reduce my weight, nothing after that, once I'm getting married, I'm not having any problem. Now. This drug DNP is labeled as a drug which reduces 12 pounds in 8 days mm. and that's people get attracted. They say so what and they feel that sudden death is uncommon. I'm not going to be the one who is going to get affected. So therefore 12 pounds in 8 days, that's what attracts people. Therefore they go into an illegal uh, market mm. and try to get the medicine. Dr. Agarwal, in fact, calling DNP a drug which burns you from inside. That's how severe the impact of this drug actually is. Cook from inside, not cook, burn. Cook, cook, cook from inside. It cooks and that's the body. Kind of and impact. if you take more dose, the whole body is cooked. And, and you know, you have you know, enough evidence as well to, to establish that the kind of impact of this drug actually has. But, but how many cases in the recent past have you seen, especially of young people as well, who are so obsessed with their body image that they want quick fixes to weight loss programs? Say, when we talk about the US, you talk about 68 deaths. You talk about with ephedra 28 deaths, just multiply them 5 to 6 times in India and that would be the number of deaths. In India, these deaths, people don't bother about it. But every year we see people dying in school, sudden death. Either they die of sports or they die of uh, these drugs, we don't know. But we do see every year cases happening in school age and in college where students die suddenly. And therefore, it is very important for the teachers and the parents to make sure that obesity drugs are not taken by the students and by the uh, college going students. Well, so at this stage, certainly this is a problem which needs urgent redressal. Dr. Agarwal also pointing out, now you talk specifically about DAP, which isn't available usually as pointed out by Dr. Agarwal over the counter, but you know, it is accessed, it is manufactured by various countries and companies also so sold over the internet. They talk about the specific case as well where this youngster was able to perhaps procure it despite well warnings being issued from the university at which he was studying and uh, in fact going on to praise DNP as well and its impact. Now this wasn't a person who was obese and that is the thing there is such a high importance associated these days to body image. You have plenty of youngsters hitting the gym which is fine but there has to be everything done in a controlled manner. In fact Aminder Singh fitness consultant also joins us now. He's of course with Fitline India. I mean, there, you know, you deal with a lot of youngsters. You know, there is, of course, a lot of importance paid these days to how you look, you know, how you protect yourself. Everybody wants those ripped muscles. How, how do you see this you know, impact? How many of these youngsters come into, you know, your, your workout centers, your gym say, you know, I want muscles quicker? I say 99. Well, 99 and that's, that's a wrong figure. And that's actually increasing at a very alarming rate now. This and the, that's the poor part is that we, we are helpless with our thing. The more important is not only people wants to reduce weight, the equal number of people who wants to become Salman Khan. Mm. 
so that should not also be forgotten no, but, but but that that is fine as well i mean that I'm, i'm sure because you know someone who's involved you know in this process having a good body is fine but you know doing it the right way doing it a way in a way which will last you longer which will make you healthy and not just you know make you look better is, is the point here you see the point is like you know the shortcuts everyone is going ahead with the shortcuts hmm. you know if you just go towards your schooling size you know everyone crosses to that the preparatory schools in a first and second and head, heads towards the 10th class hmm. you know when you are entering inside a gym fitness center you are not even knowing the a of that thing and you are heading towards something to you know take a degree of some doctorate hmm. you know on the first week only entering a lady enters inside the gym and asks me for the first stage kitna time lagega mereko weight reduction mein you know that's that's actually the wrong part of that thing so so that has to be taken into consideration that when you are starting with any exercises or something the initial part is just go for education system of that thing why are you doing it what is going to help you maybe just go google a search of what whatever you are going to take it so why when i say obesity is a disease hmm. i'm very clear about it obesity are of two types one will be a fat obesity one will be a carbohydrate obesity the one which is prevalent in india associated with pot belly obesity hmm. is a carbohydrate obesity you are sensitive to refined carbohydrates hmm. and in both obesity treatment are different therefore you have to get certain blood tests done you need to consult a doctor make your average that how much weight i need to reduce then you can go to a a, a, a weight expert but if you are not if you are going to ignore a medical doctor you may end up into problems and and that's the thing that this is a very complex issue it's not only about you know losing weight and and hitting the treadmill perhaps you have to identify what is going wrong the kind of foods that you can eat or cannot eat consult a doctor and take the right way forward but you know i mean there's speaking specifically about this youngster in the uk and from from hyderabad 18 year old you know rip muscles already boasting you know how he he's got these muscles going which is fine again we say it but this is not someone who's fat this is not someone who's obese but the pressures which seem so heavy on these youngsters which you might also interact with well to 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 get that body building muscle to get the bollywood looks if you will and you know and get it quicker as well that is the problem but how do you identify it i mean from 10 years ago now you got so many more gyms you got so many more you know small fitness centers which have opened in, in, in xyz area and people have access to these people want to do it want to spend their money and they have access to do it but are they getting the right training are they getting the right direction is the point that's that's the point like you know the, if the number of gyms are increasing the number of the bad trainers are also increasing the same rate you know the good trainers are very less in the country and number of increment in the gyms will bring down the rate of the per person you know the trainer taking care of the clients mm. and if the ratio is going increasing they have to just listen because they are helpless with the things they are can't do anything they go inside the gyms and they have to listen to a trainer who what what else is saying rather than what i suggest is just when you go inside the gym just don't blind faithly enter and just start following a trainer what he's saying it just go google search for the education system what actually is to be done then go ahead maybe search for a good trainer talk to a doctor talk for anything and get education system then only further ahead see towards thing not just straight away jump towards whatever you want to so when we talk about sports hmm. there are very clear cut guidelines one is that whether you are entering into a competitive sport or a non competitive sport if you are going for a non competitive sports there are very simple uh, they are not stringent guidelines you can go for a routine check up hmm. but when you are going for a competitive sports you need proper cardiac evaluation to prevent sudden death and joining a gym from my point of view is a competitive sport because you are entering into a building up your muscles which you want to carry on for a longer period of time in this situation it is always better get your cardiac test evaluated so there is a condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy mm. and if you have that condition and if you have if you end up into an exercise which is unusual exercise you can drop that so therefore it is very important to have a cardiac evaluation so if you are entering into a gym you are entering into a competitive sport there is no harm in getting your doctor and okay. taking a certificate and giving it to people like who are fitness expert that i am fit to join that all right let's also connect with a callers who are who are joining in watching this broadcast from add in to you know their two bit about how they really approach fitness as well paritosh joining us from hubli go ahead uh, what is your take what is your question for our experts uh see uh, sir i have a very bright question hello go on paritosh yeah that 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 line isn't quite clear we'll try and connect with more callers 